was a jolly happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes. Made Welcome to Designer Digital's tip of the week, December 5th, 2009. This week, there must have been some magic in that old silk hat. How to use the warp tool in Photoshop. If you're looking for a fun way to add a little magic to your holiday photos, try playing dress up in Photoshop. Adding fun elements like hats to your favorite subjects is quick and easy, but it gives your photos a dramatic punch. Learning to use the warp tool will help you make your hats fit onto your subjects' heads, making them look as if they belong there. Begin by downloading images from the internet, like these fun hats by Patty Knox at Designer Digitals. Unzip your download, making a note of where you have stored the unzipped folder. Open a photo and the hat images you want to use in Photoshop by selecting File, Open, and then browsing your computer here to find the unzipped folder. Holding the Control key, or on a Mac system the Command key, select all of the images you want to use, and click Open. Your files will populate here in your editing window. Get the Move tool and drag a hat onto your photo. Reposition the photo using the Move tool, and then resize the hat if needed by holding the Shift key as you drag a corner handle. The side handles here can be used to twist or turn the image, but should not be used to resize it since that can distort the image. When you're satisfied, click the check mark here in the options bar to confirm. Since we already have the hat in place, I'm going to go ahead and close the hat file and maximize the photo file. Zoom in close to your subject by hitting Control plus or on a Mac system that's Command plus several times. I'll reposition using the sliders and then select the hat layer. To make the hat fit on his head, choose Edit, Transform, Warp. This activates the Warp tool and places a grid over your image. For the Warp, select Custom here in the Options bar, and then use the Move tool to click and drag the squares of the grid until the hat is fitted to your subject's head. I'm just going to drag this one around and this one around until it fits on the dog's head nicely. When you're satisfied, click the check mark here in the Options bar, and that will confirm the Warp. Unfortunately, the Transform Warp tool is only available in the full version of Photoshop. If you're working in Photoshop Elements, you can get reasonably good results using the Liquify filter. After dragging the hat onto the photo with the Move tool, select the Hat layer, and then choose Filter, Distort, Liquify. Click the Warp tool, which is the first one here that looks like a pointer finger and then use it to push the pixels forward. In the tool options here, adjust the brush size and pressure of the tool if you need to. Click OK to apply the changes to your actual image. You'll need to use trial and error in Photoshop Elements to get the warp right, since you can only see one layer at a time in the filter. If you enjoy playing with paper dolls when you were young, this technique is sure to bring back a few happy memories this holiday season. Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul With a corn cob pipe and a button nose And two eyes made out of coal